All right, number eight, the public library is being designed with a concrete waffle slab system. Which of the following is true? A, the drop ceiling is easily at attached to the ribs of the waffle. B, the waffle slab is typically a very economical choice. C, the most complicated aspect will be how to conceal or express the utilities. D, due to all of the ribs, the waffle can be easily adjusted later down the road if the building program alters. So hopefully you know what a waffle slab is. Um, the sort of simple version of it is, uh, if you imagine that you make a giant plywood floor for formwork, uh, holding it up with scaffolding for say the second floor, uh, and then on top of that big bunch of uh, uh, plywood, I put a whole bunch of giant, let's call them Rubbermaid uh, bins. So I got a whole bunch of these things. I place them all right next to each other. Uh, I do that in a nice big grid, these big plastic bins. Uh, so you can imagine they're all a whole bunch of those things and they go on all the way that way and all the way that way. Uh, and uh, once I'm done placing those things all around on top of this plywood, uh, I come back in and pour concrete. Uh, and I pour that concrete so that it fills in all of these spaces in between these big bins uh, going in both directions. Before I did that, I would have put in some very thin little rebar in there. It might be tendons, it might be actual solid rebar, be a few uh, in each. And so suddenly I get this whole waffle of uh, tiny beams that all intersect at 90 degrees to each other uh, over and over again. And I can get uh, pretty long spans and uh, quite a beautiful uh, ceiling because once that thing is set, I come back in, I take down the plywood uh, off of the, from underneath, and then I pop all of these plastic bins out. And what was the airspace that uh, those plastic bins left is now the waffle, and it looks like a waffle iron, hence it's a waffle slab. Uh, and so now I have this very beautiful uh, rhythm of these uh, holes, these square coffers that have been left uh, by uh, the, those bins. Um, I pop them all out and I effectively have uh, a very structural uh, element. So then I have these uh, very strong waffle ribs uh, as they go along and then in the distance I'd see the other one going the other direction. Um, and a little rebar down, uh, down low. And then I take that concrete up to a few inches above there. So this is all concrete. Uh, and it's very strong, very, uh, can go uh, two directions, two directional system. Uh, and it's quite beautiful looking. Um, so it's kind of a cool, amazing system, very 60s, very early 70s. Uh, you see a lot of uh, university buildings done in the 70s and, and 60s to, that uh, use this system. Very sort of brutal in certain ways, but it kind of a beauty about it. Um, so then how about A, the drop ceiling is easily attached. So could you uh, drop down little things and have your, uh, your drop ceiling down here? Uh, so I've got my little T's and tying those things on. Absolutely, I could do that. Uh, I will have put a drop ceiling on what is one of the most expensive ceilings already. Uh, why would I do that? So A, not going to be the answer because the whole point of doing a waffle slab is that it's a beautiful, beautiful system that is both structurally expressive and uh, is uh, structural and a finish all at the same time. So A doesn't make any sense. Uh, waffle slab is an economical choice. Uh, you have to build it twice. This is the famous thing about doing concrete, right? Um, I have to build it all out of plywood first and then uh, uh, pour the concrete. So it's actually quite expensive. The big advantage is I get multiple use out of it. I get the structural system and the sort of beautiful finish, um, if you like concrete. Uh, so it's not really considered an economical choice. It's not terribly expensive given that uh, finish. Uh, you don't have to put a, a finish up, but it's not really, you wouldn't do it for economical reasons. Uh, C, uh, the most complicated aspect will be how to conceal or express the utilities. Well, that seems kind of interesting, right? If I have uh, uh, somebody standing up here on top of this waffle slab, and this is my finished floor, 
uh, my finished floor is the waffle slab. Uh, maybe there's a finish on top of it or, or whatever, but that, that's, that's all there is right there. And I have somebody standing down here looking up and what they're looking at is that concrete. Well, where does everything go? Where do I put a light fixture? Where do I put the conduit to get to that light fixture? Where do I put the uh, uh, alarm strobe? Uh, where does the duct go, right? So you have a tendency on these to have uh, a lot of exposed ducts and to have light fixtures that are put right exactly in the center of those, uh, those spots. In order to do that, when they were pouring that, they probably would have uh, uh, put a conduit inside that concrete and so they'd have a little, uh, little box uh, right there. But uh, all of that makes it sort of tricky, potentially quite beautiful, but tricky. Uh, and uh, not something that uh, uh, is easily done. So a complicated aspect is like how you'll conceal and, or, or at least deal with all of these things is really one of the, the big issues here. So that's really gonna be uh, uh, absolutely true. And then D, uh, due to all the ribs, the waffle can be easily adjusted later down the road uh, if the building program alters. Well, in, in sort of conceptual ways, that's true because it do, is a two-way system. And so you can actually, uh, you know, the, the structural load can go in multiple directions. But anytime you're cutting a two-way concrete system filled with rebar and uh, the concrete has all of the uh, conduit buried inside it, uh, it's actually notoriously difficult uh, to change down the road. So you'll see like, uh, if you're gonna do an addition to a building uh, on one of these things, you'll often see that they will uh, you know, put the stairs to the outside or do something in order to not have to cut up these very complicated uh, structural elements. Mm -hmm.